happening everybody welcome welcome to friday night so as the baby's still not here i'm enjoying a beer maybe set to come tuesday this is the last friday i'll be drinking for a while so cheers to all of you with my delicious 95 calorie beverage as much as i'd love an ipa we worked so freaking hard at the gym today like i'm taking next week off from the gym because obviously hospital and all that um and my trainer knew that and so we went we did like super reps today like you know typically typically you would start out at like a low weight and you do like warm-up reps like say 20 reps at a lower weight and then you might do 15 reps and then and then 10 reps and then maybe eight reps for that last set he had me go 20 reps and then up the weight 20 reps and then up the weight 20 reps and then up the weight and then 20 more reps 80 freaking reps 80 curls 80 tricep extensions this oh my god my arms my my triceps are so swollen right now it's like they're permaflexed at the moment so anyway uh does controller work with this it does excellent uh, so tonight is indie night. What that basically means is I have a list of games I'm going to be checking out. They are games that I have not played before. Some of them look pretty good. Uh, this one is There Is No Light, which looks like a really interesting uh, kind of Castlevania-esque type game. So we're going to start with this. Where that's torture, not training. For real, it felt like this felt like the first time that going to the gym was a punishment. Um, but back on topic. But we're going to do BPM after this, and then we're going to do Element Turret Defense 2, which finally got standalone released. Uh, and then after that, we may do Spellbreak and maybe Fall Guys if we still have time. So let's jump in and check out the first one. This game is currently on Kickstarter. I'm not even sure what the, the release is. I just know I've had it sitting in my Steam. Yes, we are bringing everyone's favorite shirt back for one last time. There's the damn light. Don't tell me it's going to be so dark all the time. You can answer the way you want. Choose the answer by using key buttons um, or action buttons. To skip dialogue, press the space button. a snake the nasty looking snake you want to live fast and don't want to waste your time use the yellow button on your feet that's if you don't want to listen but you must understand me wisdom is infinite him some manners. Take the sword I gave you and poke this boozer. Uh, what is the attack button? So I have regular attacks and I have holding charge attacks. I am getting too big for this shirt. But I still love it. Eventually I'll just have to, to wear it unbuttoned permanently. We have a meter that we build up. Can't treat him that way some respect and take this bigger sword to crush this gather rage by using one-handed sword attacks uh if you use the if you use the ability or hold the attack button any weapon except for the main sword will break 
All the broken weapons will recover after a little while. The time until recovery is displayed on the left side of the screen. So this is like a giant greatsword thing. Oh, so it's just an AOE. Not only can this giant, but you can also throw it. Uh, only attack button and beat it off a few times. Wait, what? Hit and beat it off a few times. What? It wants me to beat the weapon off? Oh, so I throw it on one guy and then I hit it and it hits a second. Gather rage and use Superbia's ability. <clears throat> now one specific feature you can't attack with them when your rage is maxed out. When the glove overheats, an icon will appear above your head. During this time, you can use the ability, change your weapon, or hold the attack button to gain a speed boost. These are the gauntlets. And then... Oh. So I could keep the, the, the rage, but use other weapons. Hold the attack button to gain a speed boost. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. You got messed up. It's an object marked with white butterflies. You see the interaction icon. It means that if you interact with the object by pressing the attack button. And it was a snake. Health pack on triangle. Settings. Settings, inventory, L2. <coughs> Do anything. Broken. Homeless people? What is this? Where am I going? Where am I supposed to do? Ha! <laughs> 
Oh, shit. Oh, welcome to skill tree. Each weapon has its own set of skills you can upgrade. <clears throat> The image is great, means you can acquire the skill. If the image is closed, it means it's not available. Here you can see the required death essence to learn a skill. Here's the amount you currently have. To get death essence, you need to kill your enemies or find vials. In this demo, all weapons are available. The final game, you unlock weapons as they progress. So far, it's pretty slow. <clears throat> no any decent games on Game Pass? Um, there's a couple, I'm sure. Oh, no, shit, my power's up. <laughs> I need to be very careful with that gauntlet. Because I got the gauntlet, I forgot that the gauntlet, like, as soon as you... I like the gauntlet, I just gotta be ready to use my special fest. get that. That's a skill point. <clears throat> I don't think I can get back up there now that I've jumped down. I think I done messed up. The eBay prices and the scalpers, that shit is disgusting. Like, I hope nobody buys them. Those people are just stuck with a shit ton of PS5s. I got multiple pre-orders myself, but I'm not scalping anything. Like, I got one for me. Um, I picked up one for my brother-in-law. I thought he was going to want one. It turns out he's going to pass, so I'm probably going to uh, sell that one to Greg. And then the third one, I'm probably just going to cancel. Or if they're still, like, out of stock everywhere, um, I'll, I'll sell it to a friend who needs it. I'm selling that shit at cost. I, don't, I can't stand people that wanna. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh shit, no, oh god. They'll try to jack the price up by a thousand. Like, that shit's ass. The gauntlets are really good. You just gotta be ready to do the special immediately. Damn. Damn, they're good. So good. Oh, 
Hang on, I gotta get back to... Okay, I gotta go back this way. Come on down. Oh, oh shit! Damn. That fast if you're not careful. Wait, so when I die, do I drop my skill points where I was at? That's... That's some bullshit. Gotta make it all the way back over there. This first game is called There Is No Light. It's like a new Metroidvania type game. The sword is risky. The great sword? <laughs> oh my god, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Shit, my special's up. I think I need to focus on just using the regular sword. I keep up the speed from this, but otherwise just use the regular sword. Okay, so it looks like when you die, everything just gets dropped that you picked up. So let's go back and actually use this. Looks like I need two for any of the upgrades. I mean, if you have a 1080 Ti, to be honest, now is a really good time to upgrade. Like the 3080 is a, a big boost. That's, you know, that, that much is a given. Uh, with that in mind, at the same time, I would not pay a scalper's price at all. Uh, people, these people that think they're gonna get a thousand plus dollars for a 1080 Ti, they're out of their fucking mind. Especially when you could just buy, like, th there are, this is what gets me, man. There are, oh god. There are people trying to sell 3080s for the price of the 3090s. And that's, that's just outrageous. Plain and simple. That's outrageous. These people are, have lost their goddamn mind. Like, I couldn't get a 3080, so... I'm just gonna get a 3090 instead. But the people that think they're gonna sell 3080s on eBay for $1,500, fuck them. Grab the health this time. Now that I know that you lose stuff. Or is there some kind of special collector's edition? Um, if there is, I doubt it'll be right at launch. In fact, I would almost guarantee there won't be, just because we would have heard an announcement about it, don't you think? Ah! Lightning is striku! This is working a lot better now that I got the sword. This is pretty dope, though. I would definitely play this at launch. Like, when the full game's done.
Mm. I like that you can interrupt enemies by knocking them back. That shit's dope. It looks like there's a second room down here. I doubt the scythe will be too OP. Oh, hang on a second. Is there? Is this like a hidden floor? My guess is that the... Oh, hey -o. My guess is that the scythe will probably have identical scaling to other scythes that are in the game. It'll just look cool. It's just a unique scythe. Because if they were to add a pre-order item that was OP, you know the, the Greater Souls community would rage. Oh, shit, nope. I need to get used to hitting A still for attack. And that lightning clap is dope. No, no, no. Hey, yo. Be careful though, because I get two swings out and I can. These guys, I'm able to get out a third swing before they're able to attack. But I should be doing like one, two dodge, one, two dodge. Um. This thing feels too slow to use. I'm just going to stick with the. Let's, what are the swords here? Speed boost lasts longer. That could be nice, but no, nah, I think I'll just do this. What do we get next? Slow down Rage Decay. Press the ability button again to bounce in the opposite direction. I think I would go slower Rage Decay. This is called, uh, uh, There Is No Light. currently in early access, and this demo is free to play on Steam. Yo, got another one. Well, with that shit, let me go back and get another point. can't get whatever the the next thing is let me go check up and see if there's anything up here hmm. oh no that's right this is where i go next because i got the the upgrade thing it's like a boss room coming up on a boss fight Oh yeah, definitely a boss fight. Sketch for a second. Another upgrade right there. Oh. 
might need to use the gauntlets for these guys. God damn. That thing melted my health. Still no word on the baby. We're inducing Tuesday. So we got a minute. Man, everyone knocks Anthem, but like, I'm not gonna lie. I got a lot of, I got a hundred hours of gameplay out of Anthem. For what Anthem cost? Like, Anthem had problems, right? I'm not, oh, what the fuck? I can do laser beams? Anthem had problems. I'm not gonna pretend that it didn't, but I got, I got my time out of Anthem. Okay. No. Oh God. Let me try the the great sword again. That's what I'm thinking is I need to use Let me die here. I've already lost too much health. I agree, it could have been amazing. And it fell short in that regard. Like Anthem was not it was not an oh a perfect game. I just think Anthem gets used as a punching bag a lot, I feel like. Please be a heal. That poisons me. Oh god. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta get rid of these. Get out. Oh, Temptress got it. God damn it. I got so far there. <laughs> Only to be hit by some bullshit. Where's my mouse at? This game is taking over my mouse. Uh, give me my mouse back. There we go. Man, where are they coming from? I'm banning a couple now too. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, we're getting invaded by incels. I'll, 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 I can hang out for a second. I can hang out and drink a beer and ban idiots. They ain't got that many accounts.
That one's gone. That one's gone. Nah, this shit almost never happens. I guess it's just Friday night. Any more, you idiots? Baby, baby's coming, uh, Tuesday, probably. I'm surprised they were getting past Nightbot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. Let me check Nightbot settings real fast. Nightbot should have picked them up. An instant time them out for the spam, but... Let me see what my uh, caps protection is set at. Because I'll adjust that, and then if they come back in, Nightbot will just instantly hit him in the PP. Uh, spam protection, excess caps. There we go. Let's see. Five. Yeah, they come back in, Nightbot should start hitting him. Cap's protection is updated and a lot more aggressive than it was before. Alright, where were we? Oh, no, oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. There we go. I'm gonna try and just run. over this way if we had gone this way instead is this better oh see that this is there was the heel was right over here man oh man I was speaking of streaming and spam I actually had I had Twitch tried emailing me today, and they're like, it's come to our attention that you've been streaming on another platform. You're not allowed to do that. And I was like, yeah, well, I have the old partner contract, which says that I can. Um, but, you know, if you don't want me to, then you can pay me. Which I know they're not going to, but... Basically told Twitch, I was like, if you want me streaming exclusively on Twitch, I want... I want a paycheck. Which I'm curious to see what they email back. Yeah, they just, that's, that's the funniest part is they just now emailed me. Like how long have we been streaming on YouTube? Half a year? Eight months? Something like that? I mean, even if they were like, we're going to remove your partnership, like, that doesn't hurt me, Twitch. I'm not on your platform.
This is definitely looking kind of boss roomy. <clears throat> Just that? Alright, so it was like... Just a couple. Alright, we're good. We're good. I need a checkpoint. Please, game. Oh, thank god. Whew. Is there a map? God, there's so many freaking spiders. No. Ah, I never watch on Twitch as I work nights in the DNS. Prevented the watching of Twitch that sucked balls. I mean, I have, I have no intention of going back to Twitch. Like the fact that just, just the fact that when I'm done streams, they just show up as videos. That alone is a better reason to be on YouTube over Twitch. Because I don't have to like, typically, man, it was obnoxious. Like when we did, when we did uh, Borderlands 3 on Twitch, after every stream of Borderlands, cause you know, stream, we would stream for about, I don't know, let's just say we'll, we'll round up and we'll say four hours. Let's say we did four hours of streaming. Um, that would have to get broken up into eight separate parts. And then each of those parts, I would have to title as its own episode. Um, half the time, Twitch didn't want to create the episodes at the right time, so I had to go back and edit shit. Um, Twitch has a thing where you're supposed to be able to, like, put titles on them and all that shit. That never worked. That just didn't work. Ooh! So every time I did this, I had to, to go back after the fact and like title and tag and description and the defaults would never work. Oh no. No. Mm. Damn. Yeah, can't can't stream on 1440. Um I could only do a 6000 bit rate, which looks like shit. shit here and then like constantly I'd say almost every single stream we did on twitch I would have somebody that would show up that would be like oh shit I watch you I didn't I watch you on YouTube I didn't know you had a twitch channel and I'm like yep like people just you know it just didn't it didn't uh it didn't make sense to stay every single stream someone would be like oh shit oh, I watched your Dark Souls stuff streaming here four nights a week like I, I mean even that back when i was on twitch i was streaming five nights a week for a while and still tons of people from youtube didn't realize i had a twitch no oh god i might need to go greatsword here that's no, right there he doesn't even he's, he's here and he didn't know i had a twitch channel I'm gonna try something risky here. God 
God damn, dude. There's so many. This is hard. This is real hard. Possible room. I will say that for. I mean, I'm not the best at games like this, but this is pretty. I gotta try and be more patient, I think. Them dropping down. Oh, what is all the way down here? Please be. The only thing that, looking back, I miss about Twitch is the bot was a little bit faster. So back in the, way back in the day, I did streams on YouTube, <clears throat> and then everyone was like, oh, you need to make a Twitch. Twitch is great. You need to make a Twitch. And to be fair, YouTube streaming was pretty shit way back then. Um, but then Twitch, I don't know, Twitch, I didn't, I didn't like the direction Twitch was going. Twitch just bans people left and right for no reason and shit. I smell a big boss, right? All this shit leaving, there's definitely a big boss coming. All those fights that we had until now that we thought were bosses, those were just... But if there's a big boss, you'd assume there's also going to be like a save point. I mean, I still got lots of friends on Twitch. It's just not the platform for me. Is there is there a checkpoint? I would like the checkpoint first, please. That clearly looks like the boss spider cave. Um, I would also like at least one heal. Oh no, I'm not ready to go into this encounter.
Oh my god, it's a town. Bro, I thought I was about to get destroyed. Um, press the ability button again to bounce in the opposite direction. Press the ability dash. I don't know. Yeah, I got a PS5 pre-order. <laughs> Upgrade time. Press the ability button at the end of a dash to do another one and release the energy wave. Just living here with the spiders? No beard. Look up to the sky that was taken away from you. Join the lunar order and get the freedom that you have lost. There's a unity station and we'll open your eyes. Almost at the hour mark, which means it's about time to switch to a new game. But I wanted to like try and fight a boss before we did that. I was hoping for like a big boss fight. But it's seeming like I'm coming up on an area like the next zone. New dawn. How does this work exactly? It's a dash. My whole uh, dash attack thing ain't working. I don't think we're gonna find a boss. I mean, if we were, wouldn't have happened and why I want to get this to work press the ability press the ability button again press the ability button at the end of all right so I need to I, I press dash I need to go I need to double press my ability button <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. So I double tap it and I like hit and I jump back.
Hey, what well, stuff is brutal in this game for sure. <laughs> I don't think we're coming up on a boss anytime soon. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new area. So um, let's let's wrap it up because I'd rather save most of this game for when it like actually comes out as opposed to, to playing through it now. This does look like something I'd probably play on the channel. Uh, this is, I mean, it's hard. I like the combat. It's tight. The movements are good. Uh, but we will close out on this for the time being. So next up on our list is bullets per minute which is a rhythm like first person shooter um we saw a trailer for this a while ago and i was like yo that looks cool kind of reminded me of doom a little bit yeah i was i was really hoping for a boss uh this this should be dope anyway i'm gonna grab another beer and go pee before we do this though Music's pretty good. Yeah. Easy. Oh, I need to, to play through. Easy or hard? Let's, let's try on hard. Yeah, Rhythm Doom. How do we, how do we reload? We try it with the, the mouse and keyboard instead. Okay, let's, so I need to shoot and reload to the rhythm. You can only shoot on the beat, reload and the beat and dodge on the beat.
fuck is this, dude? It's like a chunk of oh, I, I trade coins. Uh Thank you, weird chicken gun. Is it like, is it roguelike in the presentation? That, that hurts you, but it gives you more health. Four main stages and three different characters. One can fly but dies in one hit. One is a mage that shoots magic shit. I do a five. I like this, but I am terrible at it. I need a second. How do I, um, I turn off Steam notifications. I need to turn off notifications. The notifications keep popping up and it pisses me off because I've never had them on before. And I don't know why they're on all of a sudden. Where do you disable Steam notifications? Because I don't see a notification option interface. Like Guitar Hero with guns, kind of. Downloads library. Is it friends? 
friends, um, friends, friends list, notifications, and friend Jones again, no. no, no, there, that's better, I was like, I don't need to know that fucking so-and-so just started playing the game. I mean, I'm, I'm fine without the rhythm assist. I'm just bad at the game in general. Huggin shop. I have no coins. I'm sorry, Huggins. I doubt I'll play this for the full hour, though. Like, it's cool, but... challenge room. I don't want to be here. Just the boss. Oh, he just destroys half the room. Okay. Let me, let me knock this. Let me try not. Let me try easy. Let me try easy here. I think I'm just dying too fast because I'm so focused on the rhythm here. What does Easy do exactly? Just dumb down their moveset? Season 3 Resistance? What does that mean? Oh god, no, I cannot play this with the controller at all.
This is called Bullets Per Minute. Oh, cool. I can reflect damage back. All right. Neat. So is it like partially roguelike? Like the, the layouts are similar, but it seems like the rooms are randomly generated. this thing? Is it a dog or a T-Rex? I guess I gotta go back and forth. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Um, this this game is a cool concept, but it is not for me. This game is not. I, I don't. I don't need any longer to know that I will be terrible at this. Um, this this is a cool game. Not not the kind of game that's meant for cowboy. So I'm gonna bow out on this one. Um, bullets bullets per minute. I don't, I don't, like, the thing is, I, when it comes to rhythm shit, like, I could do, I could do Rock Band, or I could do, uh, like, Dance Dance Revolution, but I don't know. I think part of it is when I play a first-person shooter, I want to shoot stuff, and having to be like, bop, 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 like, it's just... Yeah, you gotta shoot and dodge and reload all to the beat. And uh it's just it's it's not my jam. So next up on the list is Element T D two. So if you've never heard of Element T D, this was a game that was originally a custom map mod for Warcraft way back in the day. It's a turret defense type game. Scores multiplied by two. We'll just we'll start. It's been a while. Let's just uh, let's just start normal. I, I had to learn the the towers and shit. Short stream? No, no. We're we're playing a bunch of games. Ooh, ooh, hang on, shit. I didn't I didn't spend my points. Hang on. Wait, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Main menu. Uh, loadout. How many points do I get? One point. Atom Tower. So the way... Anyway, let me let me rewind here. So Element TD was a custom map made for Warcraft 3. 
And the idea is that there's light, dark, water, fire, earth, or excuse me, nature and earth. And there were combo towers that you could do. So like you could do something like this. Flooding tower, which you need to have nature, water, and darkness to make. And each tower had something about it that was going to be dope. And so it was just this crazy turret defense game that had a lot of variety. And I remember being very fond of it. So I want to try it out and see if it's good. Anyway, let's see. We got light towers. Let's go light. We'll go light for now. Um, and we'll start. Yeah, the Dota 2 Dota 2 mod, that makes sense. Arrow tower, light tower. So they're gonna start at the blue and get to the red. Oh wait, I need gold? How do I how do I navigate the camera? Um Put one there. Put one here. How much do these cost? They cost 45. They cost 175. You cost 75. How much gold do I have? Oh, I have no gold. I have no gold. All right, let's start it. Very, very simple game. Wave. Cannon tower is, uh, we can ramp this up in speed. Oh no. Oh no, no. tower is more like your boss nuker. Consecutive attack gains 15, loses half its stacks when it changes target. Oh, I need the lightning tower. Lightning tower with the, the bounce. lightning chain lightning with the bounce is dope fire for each second that this tower is attacking it gains 0.3 three sets okay we'll do that elements each element is strong to what's to the right and what's to the left of it makes the most the water or light is weak. The light is weak to dark. That fire is stronger that weak to that. Okay. 
Uh, how much money? 250. Uh, that looks like pretty... Right there. That's good. I might be able to get by with just the fire tower. We'll see. I want to make a light tower as soon as I can. Come on, fire tower. Oh no, oh no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more oomph here to help it out. That got a little, little sketchy, to be honest. Uh, you do 75. These things are like resistant to fire. I'm about to get, I'm getting fucked up already, dude. Uh, what can I do here to survive this? Get him, little arrow tower. It's up to you. Oh my god, it did it. It survived. Fire Tower, you are letting me down right now. I need a light tower really badly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Light, 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 light. I'm almost there. Almost got the money I need. Oh my god, I'm so close. Up the speed to seven times. Oh shit! Where does it? Oh, they flipped. Okay, we're good. We're good still. Ready. to 325 to get a lightning tower. Wait, what? Why can't I make this a lightning tower? Do I gotta... Why can't I do you? Why can't I do you? Lost. 325. Each attack bounces. Can I not do combo towers yet? I thought I could do combo towers. my focus but why can't I do a Why can't I do a lightning tower? Do I need to have them next to each other? Wait, hang on. 
I don't think I can pause it. You, th you said, are you saying the game's in 480? The game, what are you talking about, Chauncer? You in 480p? The game's in 1440. I was just zoomed in on shit. I know you can zoom out. I didn't want to be zoomed out. Why can I not make this? I have fire, I have light. Wait, do I need to have runic and nova or something? Oh, oh, the cam, hang on, let me. The cam must be, it must be auto-focusing. I'll, I'll fix that right now, it should not do that. Uh, that should be this should be it like that can be fine uh, apply there we go no more auto focus we're good how do I make a fucking combo tower hang on let me see element TD2 combo towers I'm trying to find a thing. Um, all towers have an effective tower level from one to four. A dual element tower one is the equivalent of a level two single element tower, as a triple tower is ETL three. Blah, blah. Um, so for a single element tower, 175, then 575 to upgrade. Do I need to upgrade it? Chat, any ideas here? Like, it looks like it's unlocked. There's no lock on it. I see, I am dumb. There we go. I had to unlock it and then put a point into it. Fire creeps and darkness creeps and composite. The light and water. Um, This seems like it would give me the most uptime on the target.
Lightning zippity zappities, bitch. Damn, now that we got the lightning tower. Ten times speed, let's go. Dude, the lightning is just shredding. Hell yeah. How did I not hang on? I had a perfect score and I didn't get didn't get higher? How's my rating so low? Map three. The burning darkness. Fire and darkness. Alright. So ideally I should have light and water. No, I did not. For every five waves, when you get a rave break, your tower sell for 100%. Locate if need. They're gonna go all the way around. Um, there's another creep within 125 AOE of the target. Secondary attack will strike stuns the target the same target cannot be stunned again These guys should get chunked cuz water Oh no Oh wait, they're coming back. They're coming back. We good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now we're up against darkness. No, 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 no. I need light. Nice and grouped up here, though. No! Oh my god, that's a lot of shit getting through, and it's all, like, bare- Oh, Jesus. Oh, god. Oh, god. All of my lives just... get up to 325 and make an ice tower. Alright, now that I have an ice tower, this thing should do some damage. It should, it'll hit stuff and stun it. And if it's stunning...
That start was a little rough, but now, now we're good, I think. Now we could go 10 times speed. And we should be fine with all these light towers. Oh, hell yeah. Damn. Took a lot of damage. You buy a 4K Switch? I mean, I'll buy a new Switch anyway. I love the Switch. I think the Switch is the best console out there. From the lava, they're light and they're fire. So I should go earth and water. Geyser. Wait, I have, I have points, don't I? Oh, I need two points. Um. Up against Now I got an earth tower up, so we good. Yeah, with those double earth towers, we're just AOE. God. Light tower! Oh no! Geyser tower, whatever this does. What does geyser do? I'm losing a lot of health. On every fifth attack, this tower does a 300 damage AoE. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, damn. Very, very retro for sure. Well, this looks like it would go on for a while. Um, I mean, it's it's still Element TD. I, I don't know if this game would keep me entertained long enough these days. Like, back in the day, it was fun. But I don't know if Element Turret Defense really has enough to to keep me... I don't know. I'm, I'm very, like, ADD with games. Like, I need a lot of shit going on. 
for a game to satisfy me these days. And I feel like this is something I could probably play on my phone. So... Um, I know I'm probably going to... Let me, let me ping Sabai real fast. Because there's a... We were talking about doing, um... Um... Let me see. We were talking about doing, uh, Fall Guys. But I know I mentioned on Twitter that... I would check out Spellbreak, since people have been asking a lot about it, so... I think I'll probably... Switch and do this Spellbreak thing, and then after that... Switch and do Fall Guys with Sabai. Does that make sense? Or do you guys just want Fall Guys now? I mean, it does look cool. I'm just, I've, I've kind of hit my, uh, now we did, we did BPM earlier. We did BPM a while ago. Spell break. All right, so let me we'll boot up spell break here. Kill this game off. Which if we're gonna do this, should I should I make a new stream or should I just keep out all keep all this shit in one stream? What do you guys think? First time playing. Oh my god. Blah 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 Outbreaker. I can fly.
Fireball. We don't want to use a spell. <clears throat> Click and a sorcery queue. Double kill. Can I use a controller with this. Feels like it would play better with a controller. Looks like an MTG MMO is supposed to look like. Yeah, a little bit. thing here. Uh, I'm gonna switch up my um, accessories, configure. out that gauntlet. Okay. Now class the toxic. Oh, it's a big old puffy cloud of poison. Now it's a lightning cloud. Fireball. It's like a poisony firewall. Or if I do this, I can do a poison cloud explosion. V activates your equipped room. This is pretty cool. Select talents are, are improved as you read scrolls, body, mind, and spirit. Mind increases spell. Body is spell cast. Run speed. Hmm. 
Oh, cool. So it'll just auto upgrade when you find some better shit. That's dope. Oh, God damn. Squad will help you. Here's a squad mate to watch your back. What's up, squad mate? Achoo. Man, friendly mage. Yeah, friendly mage is disrupted. Oh god, I gotta revive him. Friendly fire exiled him. Poison, uh, open your portal and use your portal to drop into the practice range. I mean, I'm, I wasn't even going to play this just because I'm sick of VRs, but the idea of playing as a mage does sound pretty cool. up this guy It looks like you don't need to worry about like headshots or anything, you just shoot shoot. Damn, so when it's a poison wall, the damage is way higher. 20 per tick. Finish one match in the top five, 400 damage on the ground, 25 chests. Let's play! Woo! Wait, what? No. I thought I said play, not tutorial. Why are they, why are they putting me, why are they putting me through the tutorial again? Is this just like where you load? So does the pre-match just always do this shit? Oh, 
Go back. Choose setting. Game mode. Got it. Got it. Battle Royale. Yes. I'm gonna be in a squad. I wonder where Bobby's at. Uh, cast lightning strike. Uh, cast minus spell cost. Secondary strike. Freeze people. Stone skin. Uh, I like oh, this. Would be a bolder boy. I'd be a bolder boy. Solos is hopelessly easy. Or all the sweats and squat or something. I'm, I'm on the ground. Ah! Dude, that goes far as hell. game against bots, is it? say on on shockwave crash into ground oh man i can do toxic stuff Cast Shockwave with less than Tarny Iron Gain. On Cast Shockwave, crash to the ground. I'm hitting that button to sprint. All that's doing is making a marker.
I guess we just go... Ow, what the fuck, dickhead? So there's no sprint. <clears throat> this is just my, my speed. Boots increase speed. Okay, so I don't gotta worry about hitting a button to sprint or anything, I just... Exile this thought! What <clears throat> does does wind or poison combine or like I'm guessing you can't replace your your main gauntlet. So what do I like what what should I be looking out for? What should I be trying to combine with, uh... Get off, dickhead. What should I be trying to combine with Earth? Fire and Earth. Ice and rock, fire and rock, okay. What about toxic and rock? Could I go toxic and rock or lightning and rock? Poison storm thing. What's a teleportation rune do? So I can't I can't replace my main gauntlet though, right? Like my main gauntlet is just that's on. Whatever I have on is on. Is that correct? Oh, wow. Wow, that's fucking silly. Guy's a dickhead. I'm on your team, idiot.
So how do I combine ice and rock exactly? Old ice for sniping. Oh, shit. Why is this guy on my dick so hard? And is it possible to report this dude for being a griefing douchebag? Backstreet. Oh my dick, dude, this guy's a fucking cunt. Yeah. Alright, how do I how do I report this fucking kid? This kid is a douchebag, dude. Where is it? Where's the thing at? Report. Fucking cunt, man. Like, trying to figure out the magic combos and learn shit, and I have this twat on my ass just spamming me with fire. Like, what a fucking douchebag. There needs to be a, like, way more than just that. There needs to be, like, a report for griefing. I'm gonna submit, like, five reports on you. Fuck you. Really rare to get a dick shit teammate like that. Yeah, a dude can suck on a chode. Um. Oh, who cool. I have talents. Fuck out of my channel. I don't want your sub. You're worthless. You belong in a garbage can. Be gone. Why is friendly fire even an option? I mean, there 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 needs to be some kind of like anti grief if friendly fire is an option. Sweats and squads mad. You got the loot. Yeah, fuck them. So what what exactly are the combos here? So I'm guessing this combos with fire and wind. Does ice combo with... Like, is there any way I can see all the combos? Like, see what, what combos with what everywhere? These outfits ain't even that good. I'm not, I'm not talking about, I'm only trying to go through a YouTube video. I'm just trying to figure out some basics here.
Let me let me see if I can just like Google some shit real fast. Uh, spell break element combos. I need to find like a text document. Here we go. I don't like combos. Um, toxic spray can hit ice puddles and turn them into toxic puddles. Toxic and lightning, toxic and fire. Uh, toxic and stone, the boulder fall attack will remove toxic spray from the ground. When it hits a toxic cloud, it will collide with it, but will not have an effect. Um, toxic spray interacts with electricity when hit by lightning. They conduct lightning, which damages other players. Lightning strike will electif electrify toxic puddles or clouds. Toxic and flame. Toxic and stone do not go together. Uh, the tornado you launch in the wing gauntlet will become toxic. If you hit a tornado with a toxic cloud, both are nullified. A wind shear can push and change the trajectory of a toxic cloud. After five hits, it can destroy a cloud entirely. A uh, wind shear will take on some toxicity if it passes through a puddle or mist. Wind can pass through fire and will put it out. When it hits a flame wall, it removes it in chunks. Wind is a counter for fire. You can use it to defend, but not to make your damage any higher. A whirlwind will soak up the fire and become a fire tornado, but the other attacks just block each other. Wind can become a conduit for lightning if it passes through it. Once a shear or wind shear passes through lightning, it will shock player on impact. A whirlwind will become uh, electrocuting every time lightning hits it. Wind shear will destroy ice puddles on contact or damage a player standing on them. Ice mist is created in place of a puddle. It slows down a player and can freeze them. Uh, edge of flash freeze attack will block wind shears entirely. A tornado will ruin the direction or name of ice lands or remove any ice ground or air. Uh, boulder fall will block out a wind shear entirely depending on your timing it can slow down or stop it entirely wind tornado will change the direction of boulder flaw there's not a lot of interactions uh, fireball will melt any ice it'll break ice blocks flame wall and fireball can also be put out by ice attacks polar opposites cancel each other out a lightning strike where a flame wall will go through it fireballs will pull in lightning and weaken it fireballs explode with toxic cloud flame wall can be turned toxic Hitting fire to toxic puzzles does the same thing on a smaller scale. Um, boulder fall. The boulder fall attack will be set ablaze if it runs through any type of fire. The shockwave attack will turn into a fiery fissure if it passes through flame wall or is hit by a fireball attack. Uh, the whirlwind will absorb fireballs and turn into a fire tornado. The tornado can explode if, uh, too if it hits with toxic. The wind shear attack will pass through ice gauntlet. Oh, uh, and lightning strikes an ice lance, electrifies briefly. Lightning bolts are electrified when they hit an ice puddle. Fire and ice just don't go together, really, it looks like. Toxic clouds will turn into a solid block of ice if they're hit by any attack. This can freeze players, too, if they're trapped in the crossfire. Toxic shot attack will turn... Um, Stone Gauntlet. A shockwave attack shatters ice puddles and blocks, creating ice mist or remove water puddles, but no effect is made to steam puddles. Boulderfall attack will freeze if it's hit by an ice lance or travels to flash freeze. Lightning strike can stop a shockwave attack. It seems like stone doesn't have many combos compared to everything else. Stone seems kind of like shit. And shockwave attacks can pass through fire. So I could do like firewall and then a shockwave attack. Or I could do an ice puddle and then shatter it to create ice mist. A lightning strike can stop a sight wave. Uh, boulder fall. Something. Shockwave removes toxic puddles. Boulder fall blocks toxic shot. Boulder fall blocks wind shear. Yeah, so basically it's ice or fire. That's it. Stone is the strongest in terms of damage. It's beyond broken in terms of damage. If you're definitely a poison, earth, or fire main. I mean, poison's cool. Let me, um... Let me go back to solo so I don't gotta deal with some weird jerk off this time.
40 damage per hit. I'm gonna check and send them on the ground. Oh, they gotta. I mean, they gotta come down sooner or later, right? So. Ain't got a choice. Try out the flight runes if you come across it. Let's get a, I think, ah, a rare flight rune. Dope. Oh, that's dope. the traversal on that uncommon fire oh, I see so I can throw out a fireball and then Wah! okay yeah, that's kind of cool I like that I like that oh what is that upgrade Ashram. Uh, I think I like flight more than that. Epic wind gauntlet, invisibility room. Where is everybody? Oh shit. Who? Why would somebody just leave these here? What the fuck? It had to be like a bot. Solo, they are hiding. Oh well, I'll find them eventually. Oh, people died over here. This is definitely a this is a somebody died type of thing. Epic teleport room. Let's go, dude. Light's cool, but I'll take Epic Teleport. What are these things? That, 
That was a bot, right? Because I just fucking annihilated that thing. Epic teleport. Oh, I got a legendary teleportation. What did I pick up exactly? Legendary teleportation. Teleport is best, except no substitute. Even better than flight? I, mean, I guess instantaneous movement is pretty OP. Oh wow, that's fucking good. So these are like my, my chests, my chest drops. Legendary invisibility, even over teleport, I ain't gonna be worth it. I mean, that is a lot of mobility. go get it. I'm gonna get the invisibility. Because I feel like being able to invisible and solo is nuts. Because then I can just be like, well... Wait, wasn't it right here? No, it wasn't. It was over here. Skibbity boobity, I'm coming for the boobity. That is a really low cooldown, too. That is, that's pretty nuts. Like, it's a five. S Five second cooldown? For real? Why is it gold here? Mr. Lettuce killed Mr. Lettuce? Now we got our fire upgrade. We're good now. We're Gucci. We have to take the high ground, Anakin. I assumed it was camouflage for the enemy. It wouldn't make sense if I was just running around as a purple blob. Settings. Crouch. How do I? Can I make crouch toggle? How do you, how do you toggle crouch? Where's that at?
Rumble, levitation, hold. I don't see anything for crouch. I'll go crouch. Oh, there we go. That's a level up zone. Oh, the yellow thing is a level up zone. Turn this off. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's fucking silly. Skibbity boop bop, I'm out of this bitch. I'm healing on up now. Ooh, invisibility is cheeky as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> invisibility is so cheeky. I have the high ground, Anakin. This battle is over. We're over there somewhere. Woo! 
victory! Beat his ass! Thought he was gonna be slick. Came in and was like, Yeah! Giant bubble to the face! That was fun. I like that. Mm. Alright. I gotta pee real bad, though. I'm gonna go pee. And then we're gonna do more of this. This is actually this is pretty fun. I like this. Right, cheese tactics are strong. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was like popping out of invisibility to put down a firewall, and then he tried to do the same. Like honestly, all that came down to was I found that guy sitting in a corner healing and hit him in the face with a giant boulder, which was dirty. Um, so I think what I want to do, go to, go to masteries. And click X. What are what are these? Um, I am three. So do I like do I quit finders keepers or how does this work? So I think I wanna, I'm gonna try out each, I'm gonna try out each of the things. I can get a buddy, buddy. I'll try out lightning next. Shockwave, fire multiple boats at your opponent to brief delay, lightning strike in the targeted area. Whenever here back from Sabai. Supposed to play uh all guys with him. Oh, so this is a hole. This is a Damn, that's that's kinda that's kinda shit. That looks like it takes a long time to execute. You're like hand blah. Oh, straight for that mana vault. Is this the match or is this pre-match? This is the match, right?
So what does the ice spell do, exactly? Does it just freeze everything around me? Sniper and slow down for AoE. Probably not gonna like that. I mean, I'm gonna try out every every gauntlet. Stone seems really nice so far. And toxic seems pretty fun. Now let me let me use ice for a little bit. I think I like that some weapons can be used to... Like, you don't- even if you're a potato in this... Like, I have shit aim. I have shit aim. Everyone knows that. So being able to just hunk a giant uh, thing at someone's face seems pretty nice. I thought that looked, that seemed like it was showing stuff a lot longer. I was playing it before. Oh, there we go. Person. Legendary flight. Thanks, idiot. Oh, I mean, an aim assist, it doesn't even feel like aim assist is that big of a problem here because... You know, like, it seems like headshots aren't really a thing. It's just... You either hit stuff or you don't. Legendary teleportation? Y'all think legendary teleport or legendary flight? I guess that is pretty OP. I like the whole wolf rune thing, just being able- Oh, there's the person I want to kill. I guess you can still probably get hit while you're flying, but not while you're teleporting. I mean, it's, this is fun. I like that it doesn't feel, I mean, given I'm still super early. Um, it doesn't feel as sweaty as a lot of other battle royales. Because the aiming is a little bit more casual since you're just throwing spells out. You don't need to, like, hit headshots and shit.
Where did she go? So far, I like Earth a lot more than Lightning. Yeah, I'll try out ice as a main, but lightning, lightning, I think I'm going to. I'm not, I'm not feeling lightning that much because you like need to line them up. You need them to be like, oh yeah, my lightning strike's going to hit. Yeah, and that ice storm, like, yeah, it worked, but in the time it took me to cast that ice storm, I died. I died and I got killed by a waifu. I can't even be mad about dying to a waifu. So yeah, lightning, lightning gonna be a pass. Earth feel, earth feel good. Go check out Hellpoint. No thanks, I'm good. Uh, next we will we'll, we'll try ice as our primary leaves ice trails ice lance that was the snipe thing immune to damage while casting flash freeze see that could actually be good if you're immune to damage while casting it whatever we'll try it we'll try it i said i was gonna try them all the fuck is this lobby Oh, that's pretty dope. I'm skating after your ass. Looking fantastic as fuck. Skating that real fast. Whew. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I'm an Olympic ass beater. That is pretty funny, I must say. I'm going straight for that mana wall. I, I think this looks cool, but I'm pretty fucking bad at uh at aiming. So that might
get up. Dude, this like 50% chance to find scrolls is pretty nuts. Like, I'm getting a scroll in almost every freaking chest I open. Oh no, that was a legendary? Yeah, no, I'll take that. I thought I saw skate enough real fast. Oh god. Got a little sketch. The free mobility you get out of ice is really nice. So. Does my wolf thing show people if they're invisible? Yeah, the wolf thing... Tried to freeze me, but I froze him. Now I got a belt and I will win.
Yeah, being able to be like, oh, there they are. That's naughty. I'll be going to die in a second. Well, that ain't bad. I think I'll probably, um... Ice? Ice is... I mean, it's cool, but I don't think ice is for me. Ice involves sniping, and I am not a sniper. As much as I would like to believe I'm a sniper, I know where my strengths are. And they are not in sniping. Um, max armor on cast, get five, bedrock. And have plus one damage every bolt until you stop casting. On cast, lightning strike, minus 100% spell mana cost, lightning strike, plus four strikes. Which one did I win with? Earth. But that was my first solo game, so... I don't think that's a fair indicator because half that lobby was probably bots. I think half the lobbies I'm in are still bots because I'm in like beginner mode. Um, but right now I definitely like, I like the play style of Earth more because I'm like sooner or later you're going to come down and I'm going to boop you. Um, but I'm going to go through all of them. Next we got fire on direct hit, ignite the target and my fireball explosion radius goes up. Immune to your own firewalls. It's not bad. Flame wall 100% damage on fireball hit spawn four smaller fireballs. We'll try this, but honestly, I'm not a fan of firewall at all. I did not like firewall that much. Like I like I like the weapons where I can like kind of hit, like I can hit near somebody with the fire and do damage. Which is why I like the stone too. I don't have the, the aim needed. I like firewall for the twos. here for sure. I'm going straight over here. I'm getting both these fuckers. I got zippity zapped by that bitch. Oh, well, that was a fast match. <laughs> Let's jump back in. <clears throat> Needs more than 42 people. I think they just need smaller maps, to be honest.
Is, is poison what's slowing me? I was actually interested in this game a while ago, but they were like only doing very limited tests and the electric slowing me? Did not expect that. I want this. Is there anyone near me? Yes, there is. Thank you for your gauntlet. So I can fire dash through my thing? That's kind of cool. Poison and cloud. <laughs> You're never gonna escape me. Fire explosion. There was another person here, though. Where did the other person go? Honestly, I don't know if this game will get filled with sweats just because you don't need the perfect aim. 
I think having getting those crazy headshots is what attracts sweats in the first place. Oh no, you're not dead. Oh no. No! Ah, shit! Oh, I was busy fighting the one, I didn't notice the one. That bitch! That's that bitch from the base! She followed me all the way over here! Ah, oh, you sneaky bitch. Sneaky, sneaky bitch. So fire's not bad. Fire's not bad, but I don't think it's for me. Um... Try wind. On a wind shear ground hit, wind jump, immune to your tornado pool on entering your tornado launch into the air. In the air, spell damage is 20%, incoming damage reduction, and cooldown speed. So basically, this sounds like I just want to sit up in the air and be like, pew, 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 and just fight people from the air. What are sweats? Sweats refer to the people that... They play battle royales and like, like basically somebody that like this game comes out and they're going to put in fucking 15 hours a day to get as high as they possibly can. Like people that they're every time there's a game, they get sweaty. That's what it's talking to. It's people that are literally they're They're trying so hard to be the best. That dude's like, oh, 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 like just play, play the game a little bit. Just relax. Like, you can, you can, I mean, everyone wants to win, but like, you don't need to sweat that hard. Wind base attack does six ish damage in the tornado. Okay, so I gotta get a, a gauntlet, is what you're telling me. I think a poison gauntlet would be good. So I could make a toxic tornado. <clears throat> you will drop that legendary shit you just got. Where did she she teleported? Where'd she go? Damn it, that wasn't her, that was somebody else. Shit! I didn't think it would go that fast. Why did it go so fast? Usually that doesn't it usually take like 10, 15 seconds? Wind is rather spammy. And then so the tornado, does it just suck people in or what? <clears throat> I 
So for should I be going for a toxic tornado or a lightning tornado or a fire tornado? Like what is the what is the combo here? Since wind puts out firewalls, do I want to avoid? Why lightning? Ah, got the scroll. Alright, maybe wind ain't for me. I'm getting fucked up with wind. I'm getting these, these waifus are destroying me now. I'm gonna go pee again. These beers, I don't drink anymore, so just a little bit of beer makes me pee like an old person. It's terrible. Where'd beer go? Five percent alcohol, <laughs> right? Like it's not gonna get me drunk. It's just basically the only real reason I'm drinking is to take a little bit of the edge off how fucking tired my muscles are. All right. Next, we got Toxic. So, Toxic Spray leaves puddles. Immune to your Toxic Clouds on entering your dash. Invisible for three seconds. That's dope. Um, while invisible, 75% Toxic Spray damage. That's dope. And then two clouds. So, I can just be like, boom, boom, boom. And do three Toxic Clouds. That's so good. It seems so good. So I think Toxic or Earth, let me let me read up on the Toxic combos. Toxic and Earth are my two favorites so far. So, <clears throat> with Toxic. If I have Ice. Hmm. 
I can turn my cloud into an ice chunk and hit somebody. Lightning Strike will electrify the cloud. This is one of the more effective combos with Toxic. Fire. Fire and Toxic, there's obvious synergy. Uh, Stone Toxic has, like, nothing. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking Toxic with Fire as the main. Shotgun class, good damage up closer, good spray, yeah. I think Toxic, either starting with... Fuck, no, hang on, I didn't mean to do that. I think I picked Ice accidentally. No, yeah, Earth and Toxic don't go together. The question is, what I'm, am I a Toxic main, or am I an Earth main? So I'm gonna go here, and then there, and then there, there, there. Home for all of them. They got the new Monster Hunter. I have two separate videos on the channel discussing it. I'm very excited for it. I think I got a solo drop. Oh, it goes faster if you're inside of it. Yo, legendary fire. We are set. So spring, what does Featherfall do? I want to try it out. Oh shit, my own poison. Spring step just like bounds you forward, right? Yeah, fuck that. Give me this. Oh shit. So toxic with fire could be dope. So it's like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I like the look of that. Nice, I got armor. Legendary amulet and scroll of the body.
This is Spellbreak. <clears throat> it's a magey... Oh, cool. You still keep running. It's dope. Uh, yeah. Go. Game is called Spelly. Spelly. The new game where you cast spells. Now, this is, this is Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy right here. This new Harry Potter game. Harry Harry Potter demo. I need a better toxic gauntlet. My toxic gauntlet is hot doo doo. This is why I love the wolf. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, no, no, get off of me, get off of me, I knew this was a bad idea. God damn it, I was a split second. Oh, he's so low, he's probably gonna die. Oh, man. Poison seems good. I don't know. I like Earth, though, a lot. I was like, I just gotta get off this heal. I get off this heal, I'm set. That's all I needed to do. I shouldn't have gone for the scroll. I should have killed that guy first. So let me, let me look again at the Earth combos. So with Stone... Shockwave attack shatters, creating ice mist. It will remove water puddles, but no effect is made to steam puddles. Boulder fall attack will freeze if it's hit by an ice lance. Uh, lightning strike can stop a shockwave attack, but only with exact timing. Um, <clears throat> shockwave can pass through fire and become a fire trail. Shockwave... Can also block fireballs fired at you. Boulderfall can be set on fire. Toxic has removes. Boulderfall will block wind shear. Whirlwind will be pulled off course by Boulderfall too. Damn, I like stone seems good, but the combos with it are like almost non-existent. Like there just ain't shit there. Grab another beer. <clears throat> oh. 
So anybody want to, uh, anybody want to combo up? Do duos? Should I do duos? I feel like I should do duos. Earth and ice so you can skate? That's not a bad idea. I think I'm a, I think I'm an earth boy. Like toxic, oh, let me, let me play one more with toxic. But I, I think I'm an earth boy. It's between toxic and earth. I do like invisibility. Oh man, there's three out here. I'd be like, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna hit all three of them bitches. Build guides incoming? Nah, you can't really have a build guide for a battle royale. <laughs> no, I guess Warzone you could. But Warzone, you have like specific kits you set up. God, get melted, you dumb bitch. This is mine. Bye. Where is that fire? I'll be going there as well. <clears throat> Away we go. <laughs> I 
Dude, if I get a couple levels to where I have that, like, poison, what is the thing poison does, uh, yeah, while invisible, 75% toxic spray damage, just walk up and be like, LOL, boo, smack somebody in the face. The fuck? Somebody was like answering a phone call. Either that or it was a bot. Oh god! Fuck, I didn't see you behind me! <laughs> Bitch! Oh! What? How's he? What the fuck is this? Bitch, sit down. I'm not gonna lie, when the toxic is doing work. Do I have my thing? I do. I have the 75%. Invisible man. Doing just what I can. Oh, yes. Two clouds. So now. Oh, triple poison cloud tornado. Oh, boy. All I really need are consumables right now.
Shit. No. Oh, invisible. Go. Oh. Oh shit, that's a hole. No, that's a hole. No! No! Oh my god! No! <laughs> Fuck me, dude! Oh my god, I let go with a jump button and I just floated to my death! Bro, no! Of all the fucking ways to go out. Oh. Oh, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul a bit. Uh, I think solo play, I like Earth more, but for group play, definitely Toxic Boy. Potion and Shard consume speed? I'll do that for sure, dude. It's 1040. I never heard back from Sabai. I think, let me see what he's doing. I think he's doing, yeah, he's still playing, uh, I don't know. I, I talked to him about playing, um, about Fall Guys, but I don't know. I think I'm over Fall Guys already, to be honest. I mean, Fall Guys was alright, but... It even seems like most of the internet has already moved on to Among Us now. Greg's out at a wedding. Greg is at a wedding, so no Gregory. A page? A patch? Uh, yeah, if you're making stick out. Yeah. I eat steak, yes. Wait, what? You said you were gonna make it. Shit, I don't have. Okay. But just, just wait. Why? Why do? We, why do they need to be together? All right. I'll just. I'll wrap up after this match then, and I'll come eat. Yeah. Just take take it out, and then fire up the grill. Yeah. All right, last match. I gotta eat a steak. I mean, workout nights are always steak nights. If I'm gonna like, if I'm gonna work out, I need to. I gotta get the the protein, you know. Too many people think that oh, I can just go to the gym and I'll get buff. Like nah, if your protein intake is not high enough, you ain't getting nothing. You're gonna stay skinny and just be sore. One must eat like a thick boy to become a thick boy.
ho, 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 ho. Boom! Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam, if you want to jam. I'm taking all of your scrolls. I'm taking scrolls now. You got fucked up by the bam bam. Welcome to the space jam. You did get fucked up though. Um, epic fire or epic lightning? What do you guys think? Cause I can do that and make a fire thing. Goodbye. Thanks, idiot. Pretty far. I, mean, I got potions, so I'm good, but... <clears throat> I mean, it moves. Yes, it moves fast, but like, look how much it's hurting me. It's ticking for two per hit. I'm gonna get my last upgrade. There we go. We are fully upgraded, fully armored. people left I got invisibility I got my big boulder so it just gets bigger oh yeah it's like I'm bigging it's pretty cool
Yes. I just gotta play this shit safe. I haven't won again yet, but I think this is gonna be the game. I'm feeling I'm feeling real good right about now. I just need to play this safe and like chug a log a little bit. <clears throat> Let the other people fight it out. Be snack a snack invisible man. That's all I gotta do. I'm good. exposed at this rock. <laughs> Stay right here. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. What is that shit, dude?
shit. No, he had he had something where like he was on the verge of death and he became immune at the end there. Ah, damn, that was close. GG though. I thought I thought I could have had it. He can always report for teaming. I don't think he was teaming. No, it looked like he uh he he like went down. It looked like he went down and then he started glowing gold and then he got back up. Like what is what is is that like basically is there a, is there a self res item cuz that's what it looked like. It looked like he had something that brought him back from the verge of death. First exile, equal opportunity, second place, three down. Glowing gold is invulnerability. Okay. Well, so what, how do you get invulnerability? What's that from? Because that's what got me. My like, when I, it's a skill. Yeah, okay. Uh, is that like a mastery unlock or how do I, how do I unlock the invulnerability? Six. So store extra gauntlets and runes in your inventory. That's kind of cool. Max rune charge. Outline target for you and your squad. Immune to slow frozen shock. That's fucking good. Uh, jump height 25%. Levitation cost down. On exile, heal health and armor. Create a barrier that absorbs one source of damage before reforming. No armor, spell damage, and lower mana costs. I think it's earth. On health recovery, regenerate 50% of damage taken. That sounds really good. On disruption, once. Resurrect with 10 health, immune for 4 seconds. Okay, I think that's what he had. Resurrect with 10 health and immune for 4 seconds. Because he, like, it, it seemed, yeah, it seemed like he went down... And then all of a sudden he came back and I couldn't hit him for a second and he got his, his shit back up. So I feel like he had vital stone and then as soon as he went down he probably just chugged a uh, like a full health and a full armor potion. Which if that's the case, I mean, nothing I can do about that. I just need to be a higher level. Um, so looking at this, is that, so I need to get, is it, do I need to get the fire gauntlet to rank three to have that? And put that on. I need Fire Gauntlet at rank three. And what is this one? Something at rank six. What is what is that icon? Is that Earth? I can't I can't see what these fucking icons are. They're so tiny. Like this one's clearly ice. I think that's fire, and I guess that would be Earth. Or is it wind? Harmony is poison rank six. That's ice, lightning, that's wind. That's wind. That's earth and fire. That is... Fire. Lightning and then wind. Rank three. So basically I need to get fire up to three. Well, I don't know. I mean, I might just stick with earth because this on health damage Oh no, 50% over 12 seconds? That's kind of shit, yeah. So I want to get fire up to rank 3 to have access to vital zone. And then uh, over here... Four, well, so hang on. Vital stone is a 3 cost. So vital stone is a 3 cost. I could do a 1 cost and a 2 cost. This is useless. Spell cast speed is a 2 cost. Um, jump height. So if I was going to go, <clears throat> if I'm getting that for three, I'd want a, a two and a one, basically. Max rune charge. What is a rune charge exactly?
A rune charge. I mean, this also sounds good. Rune is your dash teleport flight. Ooh. So it's slower, but I could have... Basically, I could, like, double invisible. That could be really useful. So if I go two there... And then, uh, probably... I mean, I think dexterity, maybe? Jump height? Like, that... I don't see... I don't see that hurting at all. Or scavenging. So probably vital stone... I don't know. Maybe scavenge. <clears throat> that way if I kill somebody... If I kill somebody, I'm just getting a quick instant heal and armor. So that might be my my setup. Is is get... Uh, get fire to three for that. Get... So I gotta get fire. I gotta get lightning to one. No, I gotta get lightning to six. God damn. I have up to six on lightning for scavenging. And then, um, I'd probably go runic fluency. Recovery is better? You think recovery is better than vital? But I mean, it's 50% of damage over 12 seconds. Most fights are going to be done in 12 seconds. I mean, I guess in that last fight, that lasted longer than, that probably lasted 30 seconds. Unlock Runic first? I mean, Runic... Runic needs rank 3. Scavenging needs rank 6. So I'm gonna have to do both of those for a while. Idle Stone. Well, I don't know. I think... I, I do like the game, though. I'm, um, you know... This, this is definitely... Uh, this is a lot of fun to play. And I feel like it's not as sweaty, because... My sloppy ass. Like, I've been playing with a controller this whole fucking time. Um, so if I'm able to, like, hit these shots with a controller, I feel that that's, that's pretty good. Um, so I might, uh, I can probably, I'll probably play more of this. Honestly, I might play more of this tomorrow, because I have nothing to record and the baby's not coming. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll get a hold of Bobby and we'll do a, uh, a spell break stream tomorrow. Because this was a lot of fun. Uh, so anyway, y'all have a good night. I'm going to go make some dinner and then a uh, good chance for a stream tomorrow. And we'll be more of this and I'll catch y'all then. So have a great night and I'll see you then.